Perfect. There we go. Okay, I got Taryn in the office today. Uh, she came in to see me last week with neck and mid back pain. How is that feeling today, Taryn? It's good, feels better. Okay, so it's getting better. She did get sore after her first visit. Uh, well, it was her first visit again in a while, and that does happen. Um, I always say getting adjusted is like shaking the rust off your spine. So if you haven't been adjusted in a while, especially her, she sits like almost driving truck basically, right? For a living, right? Mm -hmm. So she's sitting for long periods at a time. So her upper back and neck can get really tight from doing that. So at first adjustment, you can get a little sore, that's normal. Um, but that went away and she's feeling a lot better. So slide down towards your feet just a little bit. So what was that again? Just kind of right through the, your mid back here? Mm -hmm. Between your shoulder blades. Yeah. So I'm just motion palpating her her spine, feeling for the the movement and the alignment of these individual joint segments. Um, and then surrounding areas we want to adjust. Like right here, she's pretty locked up, and you can feel I can feel the the tight musculature next to it. So take a deep breath in for me. Take Exhale all the way out. Good. One more. Better. Good. She's a little tight, but those, that adjustment helps reset those muscles and reset that joint so it doesn't develop scar tissue and doesn't cause more pain for her. And we're going to do some drop work on you because you're so tight up there. Watch your hand there. Will you get headaches too? Um, I actually did have a headache, yes. Did you do have a headache? Yeah. Okay. Is that still there? No. It was only like after I left here. So I was just doing a little soft tissue in her upper traps. And how many hours a week are you driving? Um, it differs, but usually like 25. Yeah. So I'm just using like a pretty firm pressure, but not, you know, it's, she's, she feels the pressure, but it's not so rough that it's making her jump off the table. But we're trying to just flush out the lactic acid buildup and some of the knots that build up in these muscles so that her adjustment holds better. A couple more drops here. How's your low back? Been pretty good for the most part. Yeah. Go on your side facing me. So I'm up. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Perfect. Other side. So I'm up for me. Deep breath. Exhale. Face up. So far, so good. Ease up for me. Good, relax. Pick that head up and let it relax all the way down. And like we talked about on the last video, anybody who's sitting a lot, this decompression of the cervical spine is really beneficial. You okay there? Mm-hmm. Just take some of that compression off the the disc space in her lower neck. Good, one more. Good. You can relax. Get this up here. Slide back down toward your feet just a little bit. All right, let's get her neck adjusted. Just relax your shoulders real light in your turn. Good, one more. Head drop. Go in this way, nice and easy. There we go. She moved much better on one side versus the other. That's normal too, though. Pretty tender to touch up here, or? Yeah.
to email her some stretches to do. It's ones you can do, like if you stop or whatever, even like just kind of light ones you can do while you're driving. Okay. Or at the end of the day. Yeah. So we have an email system, or we have a, system, a new exercise system that we can email patients out, exercise programs for literally anything that's bothering them. Um, and every new patient gets a set of x-rays or, or a set of stretches and exercises to do. But for her, I want to send her stuff for her neck because her upper, her upper neck's so tight. One more here and she's done. Cross these arms. Slide down toward your feet just a little bit. Deep breath in. Exhale, tearing. Good. Last one. All right, shoulders and you're out of here. Come on. Swing your feet over. This arm, let it come up. Let it relax. Now. And this one. Awesome. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.